Today we're going to be going over how to do a chi-square test for APA Lab 1. In this laboratory, you were asked to select four books and to develop a survey to assess preference for illustrations. You interviewed 80 participants, showing them the four book covers. So now that we have the data, let's perform a chi-square test using SPSS to test for significance. The first step that's very important in SPSS is to properly label your data. Go to the Variables view on the bottom tab and add book in name and then additionally add frequency in name. And make sure the col columns over to the right where it says measure say nominal. In the book variable, we want to change the values that are listed, where it says none under the value column. So when we double click on it, a box like this will appear. We are going to put a value of one for book one and click add until, and do two for book two, three for book three, and four for book four, and keep adding them until you have all of them. So it looks like this then you're going to click OK. Next, we are going to go to the Data View tab at the bottom. We are going to put the number or frequency of each value for each of the books. So if there were 12 votes for book one, we put 12 under row of book one and the frequency column. And if there's Four for book two, we're going to put it here, six for book three, and 58 for book four. Ensure to check your data entry. Do not assume that your data are entered correctly. And if you need more help, go to chapter eight of doing developmental research for more guidance and tips on this. So additionally, we know that there were 80 total data points, so the numbers in the frequency column should add up to 80 which is a good way to sec um, double check your work. Now we're going to remember the chi-square formula. We are looking at the frequencies, or the O, observed values, and comparing them to the expected values if the null hypothesis were true. There, then we're adding all of these together, squaring them, and dividing them by the expected value to see if our sample is significantly different from what proportions are expected. So what values do we expect? Remember that we have 80 data points and we have four books. So the expected value is 20. Now we're going to run the chi-square in SPSS. There are several steps to this, so we're going to go step by step until the output comes out. The first step is to weight the cases by frequency. You're in the Data View tab. Now you're going to go to the top to Data and um, go down to select Weight Cases, and a box like this will pop up. You want to, um, Frequency and Book will be here, and you want to move Frequency over to the Weight Cases by, and click OK. Next, we're going to run the chi-square. At the top, on the Analyze tab, you're going to go down to non metric Tests, Legacy Dialogues, and then Chi-Square. From the left column, you're going to add Book to the Test Variables list. Now we need to add the expected values. So if you go down here to where it says Values and click it, you're going to add 20 four times because we expect each book to be equally likely and since we have 80 data points and four books, we ex expect each book to get 20 votes. So you're adding 24 times and then clicking OK. And SPSS will spit out an output that looks like this. Now we're going to look at the output more closely. We can look at several things here. First, the residual circled in red is the difference from the observed minus the expected values from the chi-square equation. 
The n at the bottom is the total number of participants. We can see if the chi-square is significant by looking at the test statistics box. We see that in the last row, the p-value is 0 0.000, which is less than 0.05, and is therefore significant. The degrees of freedom are 3, and the chi-square value is 98. So if you were going to write up the test in APA format, you would say a chi-square goodness of fit test was performed to determine whether the four book covers were equally preferred. Preference for the four books was not equally distributed in the sample. And then this is the symbol for chi-squared. 3 is the degrees of freedom, comma, n is the total number of participants, equals 98.00. You only have two decimal places in APA format, comma, p in italics, less than 0.001. And that's the um, end of your chi-square test.